<laughs> I said, God, and then all of a sudden I see lightning and fire coming down on people. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. I'm thinking, yeah, we don't have to speak, God. You are. You're the voice. And I said, God, I never want to be the same. And I promised him from that day on, it's all about him. No matter what trial would come at me, no matter what would hit me, I said, God, it's about you. Amen. Then he, I had preached on this last, oh, sometime last year. Sometimes, you know, you preach so many times, you don't remember what you preach. And he goes, okay, preach that again. I'm like, where did I preach that before? It doesn't matter, son. I'm going to give you a new twist. Right. See, I thought I thought about God. You can preach Genesis one one for twenty years and never get the same message. Come on. Exactly. I mean, when the anointing of God drops down, if it ain't the I don't want it if it ain't the anointing. Amen. I've turned off more people on TV because they thought they had the anointing. Ha! Woo! Ha! God heal them. <laughs> But I don't want to hear the ha hoo ha. I want to see the signs and wonders that follows them that believe in my name. See, we got the greatest name in the world. Then my sister was sitting down there talking about it. I had this vision of this depression trying to come out, and she went, Pah, get out of here. <laughs> I heard a new sheriff in town named Janet, and you're <laughs> invading my space. Goodbye. I hit the sign for the package, so return it to center. Yes, amen. <laughs> See, that's the mentality that we got to get here in 2012. Yeah. Right. They can tell us anything, and I know this is going on, this is on tape here, and I don't care anymore. They can tell us what they want in Washington. But I've been before the great God Jehovah, whose throne is above Washington, yeah. and he's as greater as he that is in you than he that's in this world. Yeah. So guess what? They can tell me all that's going to happen in 2012. But I live in Goshen. All right. And they say, wait a minute, what do you mean? You said San Marie. No. There was Egypt, and then there was Goshen. There was darkness in Egypt, but there was light in Goshen. And I'm going to go where the light is. And if there's darkness, when I get there, there's going to be some light. See, I just... And that week in practice, there was a presence in our practice field. Can you believe God shows up on practice field? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. He shows up in hospitals. He shows up in our bedrooms. Mm -hmm. He shows up in our hallways. He shows up in schools. He shows up in our offices. You know why? Because we carry the ark of God, the ark of his testimony. Amen. We have that presence. He loves his children. And he wants to fight for us. And so that whole that whole week was amazing. And I knew it was the presence of God. Mm. Kids are inspired. Coaches are inspired. We get to the game. We win 26 nothing. We make one error. The kid fumbled the ball. And he caught it back in his hands. We didn't lose it. And uh, a college coach came to me later. He says, you know, I've never seen execution like that. And I said, I know why. And so, so it was it was the redemption that God had in my life because of the power of God in my life. Mm -hmm. that, that I knew that I could exist in a, in a world that's conflicting, a world that is antagonistic to Christians, antagonistic to faith, antagonistic to belief. But God gave me and gave you the power. Yes. Because he said he wouldn't leave us helpless. Because he said, he said he'd give us power. Mm -hmm. You shall receive power. Yes. Ability, might, strength. Mm -hmm. And he says, then you can be my witnesses. And you know what happened to me? Is I became a witness. Because faith is not blind. Some people, you know, the, some people have a kind of a confused idea of faith. It's not blind. Faith is the substance. Yes. Tangible. Mm -hmm. Of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. Amen. It's evidence. There's a tangibleness to it. Yes, yes. Amen. And so he said... When you be my, you can be my witness. Witness to what? Witness to his power. Witness to his existence. Witness to his kingdom. Witness to the existence of a kingdom that has no end. A kingdom that is right here. Amen. Yes. Amen. That there are a multitude. 
spirits in this room. Angelic spirits. And you walk into a crowd, you're going to get some other kind of spirits. Not that you're looking for the devil under every rock. No. Like Robo Hayes said, he goes, some people say there's a devil behind every rock. He says, no, no, that, that's not right. He says there's at least two. <laughs> so, as we become witnesses, because of this power that's in our life, we can testify, we can live and move and have our being in Him, that we don't have to apologize to a dark world. We don't have to apologize to what we believe. We have that faith and that foundation of knowing because of this power, because of his existence, because of this whole new world in us and around us, that we have an assurity, we have a foundation, which is the word of God that opens up, that opens up this world. That now, because of this vision that he's given us, that it's not case of Ross anymore, but it's I have not seen the or the heard in the end of the heart of man things which God has prepared for them alone. God has revealed them unto us by the Spirit.